continue our look at the control bar, we're going to look at a very important factor next, and that is the quantization menu. Now again, if you have access to the files, we're picking up where we left off with Transport 1. If you want to start from a brand new starting point, you can load in File Transport 2. Okay, so now this quantize menu determines when a clip will be launched. So again, I'm going to launch Scene 9, an empty scene so we can start fresh. Now notice what happens if I launch this clip here. Now when I launch this next clip, it's not going to take over until the next bar. So I'm after bar 8. It'll come in on 9. And the same thing with the next one. I'm after 12, so it'll come in on 13. And back to this. So this simply means that when I launch a new clip, if its settings are set to match the global quantization, it won't begin until the next bar. We can set this to a 2 bar, 4 bar, 8 bar, or fractions of a beat. Let's go down to fractions of a measure and go back to the beginning and play. Let's start with the um, drums on this one. Now when I launch this next clip, it'll take over on the next beat. makes it easy to turn the beat around if, because we're not set to an even pair of beats. Listen to click. Two, three. So the drums get off because they actually launched on beat 2 instead of beat 1. So if you want to prevent that, you can keep your drums even by always keeping it to half of a bar or a full bar. Let's listen to what happens now. No matter when I launch them, two and four are always maintained. So as far as the global quantization goes, you want to be careful not to go below a half a beat, and often we leave it at one. Now there's some additional settings we'll be talking about later when we talk about Eclipse launch mode that relate to this setting. So keep your ears open for that. Next is the draw mode. I'm going to return to arrangement just for a moment. And let's look at draw mode. When we go to draw in data, whether it's on the clip or in the arrangement itself, we can enter in freehand points and make adjustments. But once you enter in draw mode, then all your drawing is locked into your current grid. Watch what I mean. There are no smooth lines. We get jagged points from one to the next based on our current grid down here at a quarter node. So draw mode locks you to a timing grid for musical synchronization and non-draw mode makes it easy to do smooth lines for free feeling things. So here we see some non-draw mode data and here we see draw mode so clearly we can combine the two but again draw mode will allow you to do that. The key command for that is command B as you can see down in the info section. Command B is toggling that on and off. We also have some key commands for the quantization or global quantization. In command 8 takes us to a quarter note. Command 9 takes us to a bar. Command 0, nothing. So it decreases from 0, 9, 8, 7, 6. Okay, those are your key commands for the global quantization and for draw mode on and off. Next we're going to take a look at this section which allows us to punch in and enable loop and punch out. So let's take a look at that in our next section.